part of our ongoing program to promote board games from Aotearoa, New Zealand. Kia ora koutou, and welcome to Inventors of the South Tigris in about 3 minutes. Prototype copy used. It has a solo mode, it's a game for 1-4 to four players, playing time is long, and it's a pretty complex game. You are inventors in Baghdad, trying to outdo each other. Can you invent, build, test and publish the greatest inventions? The game lasts for 4 turns, which is tracked using these tents. The winner is the player with the most points at the end of the game, and you get points from a whole bunch of sources. Dice. Dice are used to take actions and come in 4 colours. Worker placement. You can place workers to take the associated actions. Engine building. Inventors is all about creating powerful combinations of effects. Player turn. There is a central board with smaller invention boards placed below them and each individual player board. Let's look at how dice work. This symbol moves a die up one band. Dice at the bottom can't be used while the two top bands get bonuses to their values. Colored dice can also go up the side here gaining one off effects as they move up. Dice are used to take most actions. The first four actions we will look at use the camel spaces and you will place one or two dice here. We start with invent which costs the dice value shown here and an number of discarded invention cards. We then place one of our invention cards onto that board, gaining influence matching those colours. Influence is placed here. We also move our royalty marker one step right. We then take an invention marker and place it here. This triggers one off effects and scores points later. Next action we build. We spend the dice shown here and activate the three matching crafters. They must be face up and you pay them silver as shown on the left here. You then flip them over and move them up one step. And because the bottom row is now clear, we get this bonus, flipping a crafter of our choice. The whole tower then moves down and we put the next numbered level at the top. Then place a marker here to show we built it and flip the bottom tile over and place it at the top. The third action is to test and it requires that you gain a white dice from the supply but spend a colored die permanently. If the matching space shows influence, gain it. Then move your ship on the river that many spaces, ignoring blanks or spaces with red research markers. Claim the tile your ship lands on and place it onto your board in one of these spaces. The final camel action is to publish, and this costs the amount shown up top. Paying silver to the inventor if it's not you, and using the yellow and any other crafter. Then mark that you published it. Each invention scores at the end based on this unique goal, and it scores for builder and publisher, which can be different players. There are also worker placement actions that don't use dice. Some can have multiple workers, and many require influence to be spent. This action lets you gain dice or conduct research. The river has three sections and you take the research token from the pile left of your ship and place it into a free space. These will have either ongoing benefits, benefits when you camp, or one-off bonuses. Then there are workshop actions. Each tile in a row triggers if you match or beat the number on it. And if that number is a colour, there needs to be a matching die. At any time, cards may be discarded for their special effects shown here, and you may flip crafters to pay silver costs one for one. End your turn by placing your tent and getting a placement bonus. Once all players have camped, advance all unused dice one stage and place your dice used back at the bottom. Then collect your income from here and here. Why would you like this game? I really just glossed over these rules rules, mostly to give you a rough idea of just how big the decision space in this game is. It's massive. This is hands down the chunkiest, weightiest, and possibly deepest game Garfield has ever put out. It's an absolute beast. I especially like how each invention can be interacted with by every player in some way during its lifespan. You'll need great awareness to take advantage of that. All up, it is a heavy Euro game for heavy Euro fans, who will get a kick out of all the interconnecting mechanisms and how each part of the puzzle in front of them interlocks. The best thing about this game is when it clicks and you start seeing just how it all works together. However, However, there is a lot here that isn't initially intuitive, and a barrage of symbols to get used to. And the setup is very fiddly as well. For the other two games of the trilogy, check out our videos. And for something else heavyweight, try On Mars, Inventors of the South Tigris. God, you're right. I'm going to build that smelloscope. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.